why eigen vector and eigen values is important eigen vectors represent directions as we know that vectors is having the both magnitude as well as direction right so the eigen vectors which are representing the directions if you plot our data on a multi dimensional scatter plot then individual eigen vector indicates direction in your scatter plot so if you take the multiple factors like multiple variables and if you want to understand what is the relationship between our response and the multiple variables right then we can say based on this direction so if we increase the respective variable whether there is increase in our response or there is a decrease in our response right that's very very important so we must know what is eigen vector at the same time we must know what is eigen value because eigen value talks about the magnitude so if you want to understand what is the impact of this x1 on y1 let's take a simple example to understand it right now if we increase the x whether there is increase in y or there is a decrease in y so for that purpose we require eigen vector so we can say if we increase the x whether there is increase in y or decrease in y that's why direction is very important now second how much impact if we increase the x by by one unit how much there will be increase in y how much unit right so that is the magnitude so the eigen value representing the magnitude and the eigen vector represent directions right so that's why these are very very important so if you want to understand the relationship between multiple factors and the response we require both eigen values and eigen vectors eigen values and eigen eigen vectors have their importance in linear differential equations where you want to find a rate of change or when you want to maintain the relationship between two or more variables eigen vectors and eigen values okay so this is again very important concept to understand let's see the example how we are going to calculate this eigen vectors and eigen values and after that you will be having the more clarity on it okay for a square matrix do you know what is meant by the square matrix square matrix is a matrix in which we are having the number of rows is equal to number of columns so if you take any matrix in which we are having the same number of rows that are equal to the number of columns or the number of rows and number of columns are equal it is called as square matrix i will explain that again very in detail for a square matrix a an eigen vector v and eigen value lambda make this equation true so if you want to understand the relationship between them this can be calculated this matrix into eigen vector which is equal to eigen value into eigen vector so this is the equation that will be explain what is the relationship between eigen vectors and eigen values okay let's understand this uh, relationship with the help of example so it will be clear to you look at this matrix this matrix is minus 6 3 4 and 5 so if you look at this matrix how many number of rows are there yeah two rows two columns one, one rows second row right and if you look at the column one column second column so the matrix which is having same number of rows and columns is called as square matrix so we can say this is a matrix a which is having the same number of rows and columns it's a minus 6 3 Four and five. Now, and uh, if you look at the eigen vector, eigen vector is a is a vector, right? So it is having the two rows and one column, right? How we are going to calculate this one and four? That I will explain later on. But just understand the first. What is the relationship between eigen vector and eigen value? Let's take an one vector. That's a one and four with a matching eigen value of six. So this is the eigen value. Eigen value is a single value. eigen vector is a we can say the matrix of 1 by 2 by 1 so there are two rows and one column and there is a square matrix so if you want to formulate the relationship between them by using this formula we can see here if you are going to calculate this left side which is matrix into eigen vector so what is matrix here minus 6 3 4 and 5 this is a matrix into eigen vector the eigen vector is 1 and 4 1 and 4 So if we do this multiplication, because we are going to calculate matrix into eigen vector, right? So what it is coming? 
minus 6 into 1, right? Plus 3 into 4, minus 6 into 1. We need to take the first row, first column, plus first row, second column, right? So minus 6 into 1 plus 3 into 4. And in second row, what do we need to do? This 4 into 1 plus this 5 into 4, right? So we need to do this minus 6 into 1 plus 3 into 4 and 4 into 1 plus 5 into 4. So if we do this calculation, it is coming as minus 6 plus 12, which is coming as 6. And this is 4 plus 20, which is coming as 24. Right? So if you multiply this matrix by this eigenvector, we are getting the final result as 6 and 24. At the same time, if you look at or if you calculate the right side of this equation, which is lambda into V, that means we are having some eigenvalue, which is 6 lambda, right? Its eigenvalue is 6. And if you multiply this value 6 by this eigenvector, which is 1 and 4, which is again coming as 6 into 1, which is 6, 6 into 4, which is coming as 24. Now, if you look at this left side, which is coming as equal to right hand side, right? A V is equal to lambda into V, right? So in this case, if you, if you want to formulate the relationship between matrix and eigenvector as a multiplication of one scalar and vector, then this scalar is called as eigenvalue and this vector is called as eigenvector. How we multiply a matrix by a vector? How we multiply a matrix by a vector and get the same result as when we multiply a scalar, just a number by that vector, right? So this is called as eigenvector and eigenvalues. Now, how to find these eigen things? So firstly, we need to calculate the eigenvalue. We we'll start by finding the eigenvalue first, and then we'll find out the eigenvector. So remember the equation. What was the equation? A V is equal to lambda into V. A is the matrix. V is the eigenvector. Lambda is the eigenvalue, right? So this is the equation. A V is equal to lambda into V. Now. If you multiply this equation, right side of this equation by the identity matrix, right? Identity matrix means what? Any matrix which is having only one at its diagonal places and zero at other places. So we can say the 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So if you multiply any matrix with this identity matrix, we will be getting the result as same matrix. That means A into identity matrix, which is equal to A b into identity matrix which is equal to b so this is like a one if you multiply any matrix by this identity matrix we will be getting the same matrix again so what we have done we just introduce here the identity matrix so equation remains same a v is equal to lambda into i v right now if you bring all these things onto the right hand side to the left hand side what will be our equation a v minus lambda into i v which is equal to zero this is plus on this side. So it will become as a minus on if it is moved to the second side. So we can say AV minus lambda IV is equal to zero. We can say the here V vector is a common factor. So we can take it as uh, take it as outside. So what we can say into V, which is equal to zero, right? Now this V cannot be zero, right? So this V is a vector. So vector should not be zero. That means if V is not zero, that means what? Which term is zero? Because the multiplication of two terms is zero. That means any one term is zero, right? Either A minus lambda is equal to zero or this vector is zero. Vector cannot be zero. So what we can say, this A minus lambda I, which is equal to zero, right? If V is a non-zero, then we can solve this for lambda using this determinant for our example. Right? So what is the matrix we are having? This is our matrix. A is our matrix, right? So we can take the determinant of this minus 6, 3, 4, 5, minus this lambda into this identity matrix, which is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. It's like minus 6, 3, 4, 5. 
minus right lambda into 1 minus lambda 0 0 lambda right so what is coming as minus 6 minus lambda 3 minus 6 minus lambda 3 plus 0 right then 4 plus 0 which is coming as 4 again and 5 here it's a minus 1 right it's a minus 1 right? it's not a multiplication it's a minus okay so i just taking the minus sign inside okay or or we can do in uh, this way also minus 6 3 4 5 5 minus lambda 0 0 lambda we can do in that way also so what is coming as minus 6 minus lambda 3 minus 0 is 3 4 minus 0 is 4 5 minus lambda right which is equal to 0 now how to solve this determinant this is a cross multiplication so what we are doing this multiplication of these two so minus 6 minus lambda into 5 minus lambda minus 3 into 4 minus 3 into 4 which is equal to 0 right now if you solve this equation now it is coming Minus six into five, it is coming as minus thirty. Minus six into five, which is coming as minus thirty, and minus six into this y, so it is coming as plus six y. Okay, so again multiplication of these two. Minus lambda into five, so it is coming as minus five y, and minus lambda into minus lambda, which is coming as plus lambda square. Minus twelve, which is equal to zero. Right now, we can calculate this simply. So lambda square plus six lambda minus five lambda, which is coming as lambda minus thirty minus twelve, which is coming as zero. So lambda square plus lambda minus forty two, which is equal to zero. Lambda square plus lambda minus forty two, which is equal to zero. Now we need to split the middle term in such a way that the summation of that will be one, and the multiplication of that will be minus forty two. So that will be what uh, what we can divide lambda square plus seven lambda minus six lambda minus forty two, which is equal to zero. So if you have the seven minus six, which is coming as one, and seven into minus six, which is coming as minus forty two. If we take the common factor here so what we can get on the first term we'll get the lambda so which is lambda plus 7 from second term we can take the minus 6 as a common so lambda plus 7 is equal to 0 right so here we got two terms lambda plus 7 and and another lambda minus 6 which is equal to 0 right so what we can say either lambda plus 7 is equal to 0 Or lambda minus six is equal to zero. So what we can say lambda is equal to either minus seven or lambda is equal to six. Either minus seven or six. So we can take this positive one. So what is our eigen value? Six. If you found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijayshave.co/join or successfulcareerhub.com/courses. One more important thing, I have created different levels of memberships at my YouTube channel so that I can help you in more deeper way. If you want to join my YouTube channel, just click the join button at my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.